Forgive me, father, for I cannot help but admire the chosen of your sworn foe. Enver Gortash's genius will take us far, but fear not, those of Bane always fall to the same folly. They cannot see the beauty of obliteration, Bane. The absolute hoax will garner false love from the new slaves. But once I've built a large enough army, I will use our hope, our hold upon the absolute slaves to begin this vile world's end. We want to end Toril. I can see the path through Gortash's brilliant plan. Gortash, Katharic, and I will seize who's I, the Netherese relics that control the crown, and then use the crown to command the Illithid Grand Design. The Dead Three, age old foes, our dire patrons will be bosom friends for a time. Father, you created me to be the last soul alive. When the time is right and my power is assured, I will slaughter Gortash and Katharic upon your altar, where I hope. Myself hope to die when the world itself is gasping at its last. This is all horrible stuff. At the end of this all, Father, there will be not a single creature living. Everyone will die. Everyone will die for you. I will make you proud. Note appended at the bottom of the page in different hand. Ha! Oran was right about her sibling. Balth. Going into the Mind Flayer colony, we saw and experienced many horrific things. Things I'd much rather I didn't see, but after going through it in my mind, I believe we have come out stronger and better for it. Putting aside the horror and the gore, we did learn one thing that made it all worth it, and then some. The Absolute is just a front. The three chosen of the Absolute were the ones who started this religion, or cult, a cult of absolute control, if you will, and dominance. I suspect that Kitharic, this Lord Gortash, and the last one whom I do not know the name of, pulled their power and resources into somehow taking over a group of illithids and changed their tadpoles to serve them. Further, these chosen are not infected like the rest of us are. The religion is for complete control of their minions, nothing more. There is no absolute goddess, it is a fabrication for those ignorant enough to fall for it usually because their leaders were implanted with mind-controlling tadpoles. But all of this begs the further question of how they were able to subdue the Illithid and how they were able to create tadpoles that are magically shielded. There must be great powers behind it all, and as I have been saying for some time, I suspect a group of evil gods. With all of this, I feel that we have just uncovered the dark secret of our enemies. On the other hand, it is a bit relieving to know that there is no goddess named the Absolute, but it would seem that we are dealing with the proxies of some evil gods regardless. Bane was mentioned in a letter about Lord Gortash. It was good to have freed some of the flaming fists that they had as prisoners, but Duke Ravengard was not among them, which means we need to continue searching. Surprisingly, we did find Mazora, who was the captured devil, which is extremely odd because she's the one who sent us on this quest to begin with. However, because of it, she did agree to free will, which abides by the arrangement I've bargained with her for, although this process will take about six months before it is granted. Having us, us, back at my side is, well, I think... <laughs> I think I'll only bring out us whenever I need it in combat. And when we get to Baldur's Gate, or any other civilized place, I will refrain from calling it, or having it at my side. I appreciate how it can help me in combat, since it's much more powerful than Scratch, but it is just so hideous and smelly, and I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea about me. Now all we have to do is deal with Catharic and Free Night Song once again. She does seem to need a fair bit of saving that one. Especially considering that she's the daughter of Salune. Right. We are to take this. This will hopefully bring us to the other side. Gatheric has to be down here somewhere. Is anyone else's squirming around a lot more than usual? This is a little uncomfortable. It senses something, doesn't it? I'll 
keep my guard up. I was hoping we'd go across, not down. These boots have seen everything. This place is truly a horror. Disgusting. <sighs> Ugh. Where to go through that? It's not a sphincter anymore, it's a mouth. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. And let's destroy them. We enter. I believe it was... What, three people in charge? Is that's them. That is the Chosen. They've created this religion. You they said it under was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Ah. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Ball. Ball. Oh. Bane. They aren't under the control of the tadpoles, they're the ones controlling it, for their gods. What is this disgusting, hideous thing? A giant us. The Testament of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Might it be a time to step in? A little late. Shit, no! Father! Maybe you should have said that before. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. Why not all three of you stay? I we'll defeat you all here. Cowards. Cowards. I've got a surprise for you, Ketherick. time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! 
Ball, Bane, and Mirko. I was correct. It was a assembly of gods. They've got the favor of these dark gods, and they're using it to control this elder brain. They don't have tadpoles. It wouldn't make any sense if they did. In their own brains. They are free. These chosen. Disgusting. But we found Catharic along with a ballist named Orin and a Bainite named Gortash. They brandished a triad of magical stones that seemed to give them control over an illithid elder brain. Orin and Gortash have taken the brain to Baldur's Gate aboard a Nautiloid, leaving Catharic to face us. All right. On our side, we have an iron flask and a whole bunch of explosive things. Smoke powder arrow, I have one of them. We have us along with us. <laughs> uh, and where's the explosives? Right here. Smoke powder bomb. Which I have also disseminated among the rest of us. You have a smoke powder barrel. I don't know if you'll even be able to use that. You have a smoke powder bomb. Oh, hi. She has a smoke powder bomb. What's next? I and so does she. We should be able to deal with this. Why are you hurt? There is work to do. <sighs> Give you Shouldn't a couple of these even more interesting times. healing potions. Could use some more. Never thought we'd get that low. Work to be done. I had uh, over 40 at one point. People. Right. Three more. What now? Give everyone 10. So this is it. We either destroy one third of the. Uh, well, you know what? From what the, I saw when the Elder Brain came up, all three of them were required to use their godly powers. Well, powers granted to them by their dark gods. If we get rid of one of them, wouldn't they lose control of the Elder Brain? As I said, those fools left. I wouldn't have left if I was one of them. I would have stayed here to make sure that they have the Astral Prism and these people that snuck right under the nose are destroyed. That's why I said they're fools. Bad guys always seem to do that in the stories, now. too. All right, Catharic. I have a predicted. bone to pick you with you. I wonder that draws one toward death like a moth to light. You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing as the world gets taken over, I don't think so. Fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. <laughs> Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. That I'm sovereign. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What is it to you, though? What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. Orin? And That's my grandmother's name. Take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. I see. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. I was ready to show you mercy before, 
It's still not too late. You can repent. There's two people inside of him. My debt can never be repaid. You are of two minds, Catherick. There's something good inside there somewhere. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is. Kitharic? You dare end one who belongs to me. I am the smile of the world cleansed skull. I am the regrets of those who remain, and the restlessness of those who are gone. Theric is gone. Is no matter, for I am death. And I am not the end. I am a beginning. I didn't expect to face this. Catheric chose well with what he could. Shit. Got a mind flare out here as well, which sort of makes sense. <sighs> hmm. The mind flare could prove to be troublesome outside of this, despite this god being here. Who's that? No, Night Song. She's being held. What's with her eyes, though? Here's here it is, the mind flare. Uh, I don't know what this evil thing is gonna do, and I really don't want to run up there and smack it. You want to go first, us? Maybe you can deal with these things, intellect devourers. Maybe wait till you're close. Now would be a good time. So long as Night Song's in that cage, Catherine will keep getting back up. Yes, I do believe that we should deal with. Alright, to get over there, we'd have to go through there. How do we free her? Somebody's going to have to keep... ...this creature, this god, busy. This undead here as well, so you'll be able to use some of your undead powers. Killing powers. How do we get up there? We can get up this way. Hmm. I really don't want to do this. But, I have something to distract it, do I not? We have to kill that Mind Flayer, though. How do we even get over there? I think we... We can't. There's no way to get to it. 
All right, then. If there's no way to get to it, let's see how far I can throw this. I might have to get a little closer. Maybe not. This should prove to be a good distraction. Take that! Woo! Well, the spectator won't kill the god, but it'll keep it busy for a little while. You know what? Potion of... Sp Potion of flying, too. There. Uh... Alright, well... <laughs> I can't throw anything more at this moment. Hey, spore grenade. Can I throw this? Suppose I can. What? Okay. How does one get over here? They've got the ability to go down this way. We can kill these intellect devourers quite easily, but... If I can just throw that over there, I don't want it to explode. I can throw pretty far. Well, I've got a lot of strength added to me. The potion, don't explode, please don't explode. Okay, it didn't catch on fire, but it did cover the area with smoke powder. Alright. I suppose I can throw another thing. Sorry, us. The blade will not bend. Hmm. Could really use that right now. I won't give in. Don't I have scrolls of this? Right, you have your target. Huh. This could really help. Really help, actually. If it would hit, it would help. Alright, we need to kill these things, and we need to be ready for when they come here, the undead. We'll kill them. Let's try this. No, no, I've given you a friend. Oof, I don't want to go up against that. We really need to free her, though. See, the thing is, this is not a friend. This will attack me if I get close. There's no point in rushing right over there to be attacked by both. Um, do you have this sunbeam? 
She may have to get up close to it. Uh, I don't know what she can do right now. Glyph of Warding. Detonation. Oh, uh, no. We want fire. If she could put that over there, it will explode. That is actually a great idea. So, they're going to get this exploding thing, and the smoke powder will go off. Which will be quite, hopefully, devastating. Uh, you may be the only one that can do this, I'm not sure. Not far enough. Wish you can go right here. Just hold off on that for now. You know what? A blessing is in order. Or they may just stay up there and kill my spectator. This may hurt us too, I don't know. Yeah. Right. I... We need to get over there. Will could use... He can get over there and try to free her, actually, once this lithid is dead. I don't want to go over there. <laughs> Maybe I can... S Very well. Throw smoke powder? Or... Could I shoot it with smoke powder? It's worth a try. Oh, it's numb and vulnerable to it. All right, my uh, friend is not going to live very long. I don't know if anybody should be uh, going confronting the thing right now, especially with these things over here shooting at everything they have at you. Hmm. Well, it is kind of up to you. Hey, uh, you're not supposed to miss when you didn't. All right. I don't know how he's going to okay, go with this. Can't use it. Cannot use it. Which means he's not really going to be able to do anything at the moment. Alright then. Well, so much for peace. Could you cast Shank Sanctuary on me? I think I should fly over there. Fly, fly, fly. Where could I fly here? I think I'll try flying here. Gods be damned, come on. Really don't want to be here. I feel like this is not the spot for me. Divine Smite? I can't.
I don't want to hurt her. I don't think anything I have is going to work against this thing. Aberration? I don't think it's an aberration. I don't know exactly what you would call it. Invulnerable. I think it was not a good idea. I'm going to go oh. Ow! Get down. Not a good idea to face that thing right now. Nothing seems to work against it. However, this would be another good thing to put over... Okay, just remain there. You can fight it if you want. You still have time to, to distract it. Not pinned down just yet. Alright, well, I don't know what you can do. These things are keeping it busy for now. When I go. Just not enough movement. <sighs> Animate dead. Something to use to distract the enemy for at least a moment. There goes the spectator. Alright, we really have to get over there. Us just wait here. Can't even catch my breath. One of them ported itself this way. Forever dauntless. You're free. You're not gonna turn on us, are you? Did they corrupt you? The will's right there. Blood comes easy these days. Okay. Well, there's one of these things here. Let's, I can destroy that. And let's take one of these potions. Sit. Your bones again. Still fly, but I don't want to go over there. Keep it busy, would you? Orders. All right, you have to be ready for the onslaught of what's coming. Stay here. It was a worthy ally to use against the enemy to keep it busy. Can you affect it? Oof. Oh, oh. I think it can. She can. Does this mean that we can also hit it now? 
Let's see if you can't use Sunbeam on it. Lathander's light. I forgot about that. Does Sunbeam work? It worked. It's blinded. That's right. Come down. Oh, they may be able to come up here, though. Is there a way to get up here? Yes, there is. Can that be destroyed? I don't think it can. They may just come right up here. That's it. If this thing can affect it, then I certainly can. I think it's time everybody got up here. should work, actually. Triple your jumping distance. If you could jump. Alright. Use this. Heat metal, he dropped his weapon. Or one of them. That one thing that it summoned to its side no longer has it. How fortuitous. One life to my life. Sustain. She needs help. We need to get over there. Here we go. Ah, shut up, heart. Yeah. I didn't do as much as I would have wanted it to, but maybe Jahira should go and work on them. Uh, you can't get over there. You can get over here, though. And they are coming this way. Oh, didn't think it would have the reach for that. Um, 
back. Blinding smite? Smite? But it's already been blinded. Or is it? <coughs> Divine smite, full power. Alright, that really hurt it. Let's go again, shall we? Ah, and it's destroyed. Go back to where you came from, foul thing. The Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel! Final death for you, Catheric. Sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkel is dead. <laughs> Permanently, this time. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. At the ready. The Iron Flask. <laughs> It sounds everything inside of it. Okay. Right, right here. It's not glowing anymore. He was holding a dangerous creature inside, now it's empty. Hmm. Well, I've been holding on to that for a while. Okay, Kitheric. All the other undead died after the uh, avatar of Merkel was destroyed. Just make me a ch chosen one now. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. You're out. Truly. In our world. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. I saw that it was wearing a crown. It has been dominated. Oddly to enough. To master an Elder Brain. To subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Hmm. Well, they have Bane, Merkel, and Ball of all. Why is Ball back? <sighs> uh, so, uh, you. Uh, how is it you're able to leave the astral prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Hmm. 
You know, I came here looking for a cure. I still haven't found one. Perhaps not a cure. But you found the source of your infection and the reason for its abnormality. The crown atop the Elder Brain. Its markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire ah. whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. The crown's Netherese magic them. must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Hmm. Do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and We've a heard slaver. Of him. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god what? of murder. What is she? Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. So I was right all along. Chosen of the dead three? Yes. Yes, Bane, Merkel, Baal. The old story. I remember... I remember that. So, Chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Yes, had they all three stayed to fight us, perhaps they would have had a chance, but they foolishly left Catharic alone. What hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Hmm. A crumpled note. Catharic's Warhammer. Catharic's shield. And his armor. I don't think I'd want to wear that. Very rare. Let's just take it all. I am curious about what the letter says, though. Catharic's Netherstone. As uh, one of the three controllers of the Crown of Karsis, so. Do we have to get the other two? In order to control the Elder Brain or get it to basically destroy the worms inside of us? Here's the note. Pop, I love you. From IZ. His daughter. Isabel. Well, it helped for a time. Kept everything busy. Portal to the service. Well, I gladly would rather take that than have to go through everything to get back up. There's a whole bunch of things down there. Mind flare. I'm not sure we can reach over there without count. It may have come down to fight us if we had left it. Uh, 
but I can go down What's here. What's in here? I can't believe the skeleton lasted. <laughs> uh, invitation to Lord Gortash, the Grand Design, Absolute M, Invasion Plans, Amulet of the Absolute. Silver knife. Silver glass. Glass. The Grand Design, there's a book on that. Obviously it has nothing to do with them. Invitation to Lord Gortash. Silver glass. The absolute end. Let's see what this does. Map of the Sword Coast from the Sea of Moving Ice down to just north of Am, including several of the nearer archipelagos in the Sea of Swords. Invitation to Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash, the Committee of Concern patriarchs would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans, short and long term, for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday, the 12th noon, a luncheon will be served. Maybe presume your attendance, Lord Her Rillen, committee chair. I don't think there's anything nefarious about that. They just didn't know that what Lord Gortash was. Well, we may be able to get some gems from these things. Oh, gold. Again with the candles. Let's go up here to the portal. Look at the equipment we got from Catheric afterwards. We've also gained in skill. You know what, I thought you might have something to do with all this, considering that we're up against three gods. With us? What do you have to say? Seems like a good moment to talk. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. There are depths to ah, this alliance. The curse should be gone. Unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Do they? I don't know. Uh, I would assume all living things would. No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Mind flares have no souls. Yet, the three. Amass an illithid army, void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I thought we were. You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished mm. as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods Hmm. Speak plainly, isn't there more you can tell me? No. <laughs> Why are you here? I am surprised to see you. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Eternally? All right. So is the curse lifted now? Right. 
Will. You're right. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. All right. Uh, the absolute cult has Ravenguard. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. That's where we need to go, then. The Absolute's army's on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. <laughs> That's what, exactly what will happen. So what do you know about Gortash and Orin? I don't know what race Orin is. She has skin that seems to move like it's some kind of thick liquid. Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash, I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. All right, one final thing. Mazora said you can say what led to your pack in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I wouldn't make a deal with the devil. Is that what you did? I wouldn't give up my soul if that's what you're getting at. I'd rather just die outright. It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, Older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. Hmm. Cult of the Dragon. Uh, I think I've heard of it, but I honestly can't tell you what it is. So what's the Cult of the Dragon? A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the dragon Tiamat. A ten day after father left, Tiamat. I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Okay, I'll allow Will to share his memory with me. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. <sighs> Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Hmm. Sacrificing your soul to save the Civity was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. 
I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. Mm -hmm. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Hmm. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. Oh, I could flee I to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. We'll return to this subject later. I understand. Alright, that's done. We don't need to discuss it anymore. And you, sir, with us. Uh, I want to see this place heal. Jahira, giant Jahira. I would Jahira. not linger in this land over long. But, whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. Alright, right, right. As I said, who's who's this? Like in there. Aelin. Isabel. My love. You were dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. We've met. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Ah, more people to join our camp, sure. So, you are Catheric Thorm's daughter. I've already found that out. So you'd be most welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. 
We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. What I really- I mean, that's Happy that's Reunions book. What I really want to see is the curse lifted. Again, who are you? You'd make a fine fist. I don't think I want to join the Flaming Fist. Ah, House and Thaniel. Thaniel. You did it. Catherick Thorne is no more. The Shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. Soon. Not right away. Hmm. I'm glad I could help. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace. And bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. So can everybody just go out throughout the cursed shadow cursed lands without shadows attacking them now? Helson. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly now that Oliver has returned to him. So when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. I really want to see life return. Whenever here. you're ready. Hmm. So I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. Well, you did kind of just stay at camp for a week at a time, but all right. So what happened to Oliver, exactly? Did Thaniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend, once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Hmm. I'm glad to have you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Alright then. So how odd. Thaniel is Faye. Two aspects make up then? No, Oliver and Thaniel. So they can be one or the other. But they're both the same thing? Odd. Very odd. Quartermaster. I Hello. Just tell me what you need. Do you have anything to trade? Like, do you have any gold left? I used it all up. She doesn't have any gold to give me. One potion of healing, that's all. I guess I'll get it. Oh, wait, you do have some gold, so let's go through this then. Alright, I'm going to keep Gatheric's armor for now. None of our group would want to wear such a thing. It, uh, no. Not good. But I will keep his warhammer and replace it with, uh, replace my older one. Lady Light, your way. Alright then, I... Would like to step outside and just see what's going on. It hasn't been that long. Like forever. Oh, this horrific death needs to come to an end. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Hmm. 
I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Hmm. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute. The Chosen. All. Yes. Better be. It hasn't been that long. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. What's with all these pouches everywhere? Huh. I could use healing. How odd. We need to rest before we follow the absolutes. I don't know how we're going to make it there in time. You know what? I can't leave here. Not yet. There's something important. How do I, I have to get down to the basement? And for that, we go through here. Articola. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. <laughs> How did you make it here? A flaming fist. A novice, actually. She dropped everything to make sure I made it here safe. I heard about Duke Gravengard's capture. If his soldiers yes. are anything to go by, he is a man to admire and respect. I hope you can save him. For the good of Baldur's Gate. Come with me, I could use a flaming fist by my side. Thank you, but look at me. I am a relic, a glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. And after Nathaniel awakens? I don't think there will be an after. The truth is, the shadow fell broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I see. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. Alright. Uh... I guess the flaming fists are taking this place over. Hello? Helm's blessings upon you. Didn't know they had tieflings in the flaming fist. Why are we still here? Alfira. You're here. Good. That's good. Oh, you're alright. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing. Is she? And they have 
haven't taken it too well. We need to find her. cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. But you know what? I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. One problem at a time. Hey. Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Mole back. Tell her, won't you? Nothing I can do about that. Miss Alfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Mole. Let's go search for this mall. We have to go to the basement, though. I know that. Not that I want to come back up here. I believe your skeleton is still with us. Mole, where are you? Note from Gortash. Okay, to Catheric, just a note to say that I was alarmed to learn that your strike teams have not yet recovered the artifact. The Githyanki appear to be after it as well. I'll have more to say about this when time allows, but it's essential that your troops do not allow that object to slip between their fingers, Gortash. As much as I appreciate us's help, I find it quite repulsive, actually. Especially since I know exactly... I'm the one that released it from its skull. Okay. I definitely don't want to go back down there. We didn't see Maul anywhere when we were down there. Well, the only thing I can think of is return to the basement. get down there. So we returned here. I didn't want this to be shipped away. And we couldn't do anything about it before. We have to get rid of it. No sign of mole, no sign of anybody else. That is still placid. Thousands of tadpoles happily awaiting their hosts. Could we destroy it? Uh, fire wine barrel. Here, Will. Give me yours. Actually, you just put it down. Don't mind. If we hit this, the whole thing might blow up. We can't step over this, which means we have to go over this way. Well, we can, but it's like fire. No time to rest. With haste. A bit further. I'm not sure if this will destroy that barrel. Please destroy it.
Yes! We did it! <laughs> the parasite yeah, I see brimming it. with magic. Take it. After what we just went through down in that mind flare place, I don't think that I ever want to have anything to do with these things ever again. We just need to get rid of what's inside of our brains. Alright, let's continue searching for anybody else's Something chest here. here. Have I not opened I it? Who's that? Alright, so here we are down in the basement again. been here, but I'm looking for people that survived. I don't know if any of them did. Maybe we should have freed those people, those tieflings when we had the, and the deep gnomes when we had the chance. I fear they may be lost to us forever now. Thought it was over, but Kethrick's not done yet. Finish him. I already did. It is over. Let's look. So we've been through here. There's... They must have taken them and infected them. Or killed them. What about this? Maybe we can open this. Fear we can't. We have to, uh... Maybe open it through here. These levers. But we open them all up. Heard that. These ones aren't staying. That first one is, though. a bit of gold. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Gold chalice. Gold ring. Burnished necklace. Invasion plans. I've already seen that. this. Stack of books. Another stack of books. Pouch. Wooden barrel. Evan's chest. Brow beaten circlet. Sack. 
Trap disarm toolkit. Wilburn's hammer. If I was able to give that to him. Uh, I should have done this before we went off to Free Night Song. There's no one down there. I can go take a look. I mean, I tried to open what I could up, but... Well, they are open. All right, let's go look. Mm. Nothing in here. Ugh. Torture implements. Nothing this way. If only I did it. Ugh. Could have spared half a dozen people. We didn't see more, though. More was still missing. There's a journal here. Here goes nothing. You hear things down here, things from people with nothing left to lose, no more secrets to keep. You hear that Catharic's untouchable, except he isn't really. That he's got some relic or other in the mausoleum. A link, that's what you hear, and you think that the link can be severed. You hear things like that, but you mostly hear them from people who are already out of their minds. Ah, I'm sorry. Wool is definitely not here. The only thing we can do now is return to camp. 